Hello guys, today we're going to unbox and review the Hedora 50th Anniversary Special Set figure from Bandai. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. Hedora is the kaiju that Godzilla fought in the classic 1971 movie Godzilla vs. Hedora, directed by Yoshimitsu Bano. Made up of pollution, Hedora was a monster that attacked cities by spreading smog and toxic chemicals. It also could fly and change shape, making it a troublesome opponent for Godzilla. The movie has since developed a reputation as the strangest and most hallucinatory movie of Godzilla. Let's take a look at the box. So the front of the box shows a close-up of Hedora. And you see all the requisite logos. This is the top with that massive name. Here's the bottom with another picture of Hedora and the fine print. Here is one side of the box. It shows a black and white picture. This is the other side. So it shows the name. This is the back of the box. So it shows other poses for Hedora as well as the other forms. Let's take it out. This is what you will get when you open the box. So you have your manual, you have your stands, and of course, you have Hedora and his other forms. Here is Hedora and his three forms. So of course, you have his early tadpole form, you have his final form, and his flying form. Here is Hedora. Let's take a closer look. So you have a very nice coat to the item. Okay. At the bottom, you actually see the limbs here. And you have the eyes. See those eyes? They look evil. And guys, you can remove the head. And then you can attach it here. Okay, so this is an accessory. See this peg? This is the hole. So, it looks like you have this Hedora. Okay, trying to sneak around. Okay. This is the flying form of Hedora. Okay, this is from the top. It looks like a trilobite. This is the front. Nice details on the eyes. And this is the bottom. Okay. So you actually see some of his, what do you call, maybe claws or tendrils. Okay. Nice details okay, at the bottom of the body. I really like this one. Here is Hedora, guys. It's one ugly looking kaiju. And that's a good thing. <laughs> it's the top of the head. And you have these very nice fissures or cracks on the head. It's a nice detail. And then you see the eyes of Hedora. And they look scary. Okay, they did a good job with the eyes, guys. They have this sludge looking body. Okay. You really don't know whether it's organic or chemical. A nice paint job with the yellow, the red, and the gray with some slight silver blue here. This is the side. Again, you get some nice details with the scope. Of course, you have the tail with the red, gray. This is the back. Great details, guys. He looks like he has tumors or cancer on his back. And of course, that's appropriate because of the nature of the kaiju. He's toxic. Now let's look at the articulation. Now, with the head, you can turn his head around and the back part also moves. Okay. So some slight movement, upwards, downwards, left, right. Now, with the shoulders, Okay. 
So this is the left shoulder, but you really can't move it around because of the design. Now with the elbow and wrist, you have some movement. Okay, but the movement is limited. Okay, shoulders, other arm. When it comes to the legs, there's some slight forward and backward movement. With the ankle, okay, there's also some movement, but not much. Whether you can do the split, no. <laughs> so it has a very limited articulation. It's a brick. <laughs> With the tail, okay, you have this motion, okay. Now when it comes to height, it's a little over 6 inches. Here is Hedra and Godzilla side by side. So you'll have an idea regarding the scale and the size of Hedra compared to Godzilla. What's good about the figure? The sculpt, the look. You get some very intricate sculpts all over the body. They did a really great job with the eyes of Hedra. Bandai was able to capture the weird, seemingly blank look of the eyes of Hedora. The flying form is also sculpted well, and it's nice to see that the quality sculpt was also done with the tadpole form. The paint job is also done well with the gray, red, yellow all looking dull, which is appropriate to the nature of the monster. Special mention to the back of Hedora when it comes to the sculpt and paint job, the tumor look really adds to the character of the item. I like how heavy the item feels too. As a kaiju, Hedora look massive and the amount of plastic here makes the figure feel substantial. What's bad? The lack of articulation. Well, really can't blame the sculptors here because Hedora is not really known for limb movement. As a character, he's not really known for dynamism. He just lumbers around. I also don't like the fact that the joints are not well made with this Funko Pop since the ball joints are tiny and they tend to pop off if you are not careful. All in all, I still found this Hedora figure to be a quality release. I don't feel any regret buying it. The three forms of Hedora together make for a nice set. If you are a Godzilla fan, this is a must-have. I have a good feeling that this will go up in value and will be highly sought after in the future. Try to get more than one. So that's the Hedora figure from the SH Monster Arts line of Bandai. This has been Kulas for Tambe Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.